Hey, Steve Stein from GuitarZoom.com here, and today we're going to be looking at The Climb by Miley Cyrus. Interestingly, I've had a lot of requests for this song, and so I thought I would make more of a beginner version of this with using as many open chords as I can. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a capo on the second fret, and then we're going to be using D and G and E minor for the bulk of the song. Now, unfortunately, there are a couple of bar chords that you're gonna need to be able to play, but again, you've got time to practice these sorts of things. So let's take a look at the beginning of this song. We're gonna look at the verse section. It starts off with this D. G. E minor. And anytime you play the verse, that's what you're going to be playing is D, G, and E minor. Now the strum can be anything that you want. I'm just doing something that's more kind of in that realm, but there's no specific strumming pattern. There's piano in this. And of course, we're just sort of interpreting that in the way that we want to play this. So if you're working on a specific strumming pattern or something, that's perfectly fine. If you want a suggestion, something fairly straightforward, I would say something like down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. Might sound really nice. But again, you could do anything that you want with that. All right, when we get to the pre-chorus, this is where we start introducing some more difficult chords. We're going to have B minor. And then we're going to take that entire B minor. We're going to move it up one string to the sixth string. And we're going to have F sharp. We're going to take that middle finger off and we have F sharp minor. And then we're going to go to G and then E minor. Now remember, if you play your G chord or something different than I do, maybe you use different fingers or something, it's perfectly fine. So B minor, we're going to have to do as a bar chord. And again, you might know like an, an easier version of that. And it, it doesn't matter, whatever works for you. But I think it sounds best if you play this as a full B minor fifth string bar chord. So I'm barring over the second fret relative to the capo here. And then I'm making an A minor chord with these other three fingers. And then I'm going to lift that up. Everybody goes up one string, but I take my middle finger off. That's F sharp minor. And then G. And then E minor. So again, same kind of strum. And then we're going to head back to D and we're going to start the chorus this time, okay? So the chorus, we've got D. We stay there. We go to G. E minor, just like the verse. But then we're going to go to A afterwards. Now you could go to a full A, three fingers. Or you might just go to an A sus two with only two fingers. Again, it doesn't matter, whatever you like. So you're going to have D for two measures. To G. To E minor. To A. Then you're going to come back around D. Two measures. But this time, you're going to go B minor. A. G. And then you go back into the verse again. Okay? So that's basically the entire song. There's a little bit of stuff at the end of the song, but the most important thing is, is that you grapple these three different sections. The verse, the pre-chorus, and the chorus. And if you're new to bar chords, that B minor and that F sharp minor are going to be quite a bit of work for you to start with. So anyway, hopefully that helps you. Make sure that you do me a favor. Like, share, comment, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel so you always know when I'm going to be doing other videos. Uh, going live, that sort of thing. And do me a favor, check out guitarzoom.com, all right? So take care, stay positive, and keep practicing.